Okay, for our final foray into total control here, um, I thought it might be nice to, to do something with the SR16 and okay. the resonator program on the quadriverb, which I've been, become quite a fan of. Um, what we've done here is I've set up the quadriverb so that the foot pedal of the EPS brings in the amount of the resonators, okay. and the mod wheel controls the resonance or the sort of filtering. What's interesting about the resonators is that they're, they're like very sharply tuned filters like a wah-wah type effect or something like that, mm -hmm. but they're very sharply tuned and they can actually impart a pitch to whatever signal you put through it. Okay. Now, since you can impart a pitch to it, I guess they figured why not have it be able to be controlled from a MIDI keyboard. Sure. So you can actually set the pitch of the resonators from what you play. Hmm. So I have the MIDI out of the keyboard going into the MIDI in of the quadriverb, and it's changing the actual frequency at which the resonance occurs but one sound is worth several thousand words, so <laughs> let's just start off with the, there's the real basic drum sound. Now I'll bring in the resonators. Hmm. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll play with the mod wheel while that's happening. So you can pull it back when you want less resonance. And then the more resonance you want. What you're actually doing is letting more sound through with, with the resonator. What you're actually doing, technically speaking, what you're doing is you're varying the sharpness of the filtering effect. So okay. Yeah, I think of it as bandwidth on a filter. You know how if you have like a parametric equalizer and you set a real sharp bandwidth mm -hmm. and really boost the resonance, it almost starts to oscillate and become a tone? Right. That's basically what's happening here. The more you turn up the mod wheel, the more it becomes a tone. So that's another method of control. Now, we're not dealing with continuous controllers here in terms of the keyboard. We are dealing with a continuous controller from the mod wheel, which is varying the, the resonance, right. and a continuous controller from the foot pedal, which is varying the volume of the resonators. But the actual control of the pitch is coming off the keyboard. So here we've combined just a whole bunch of different things. We've got the drum machine, we've got the quadriverb, we've got the keyboard tuning the quadriverb, we have the continuous controller shaping the sound as you play. Right. So it's a pretty comprehensive setup. Now, of course, after you've got all these wonderful things happening, mm -hmm. the question becomes, we've got all these great patches and all these cool sounds in the quadriverb and these drum patterns and all that. What happens if you drop it or your dog eats it or something like that happens? How do you preserve your data? Right. Now this is something that a lot of musicians tend to ignore. They just kind of cross their fingers and, and figure, well, it's always worked in the past. I don't see why it shouldn't be there when I turn Hope it on tomorrow. Hope nothing goes on. It goes wrong. But any, you know, anything can happen. A battery, a ba backup battery can go dead, or, or you can drop the thing and break a connection or whatever. And it's bad enough that if you drop it that it's broken and you have to get it fixed. Losing your patches is the ultimate insult. But if hmm. you save your patches, right. you can get the unit fixed, load the patches right in, and start all over again. So I think we'll uh, sort of... Forget about the continuous controllers for now. I think you've pretty much got the idea. Uh -huh. yeah, and let's look at how to uh, save and load patches through system-exclusive data. Sounds good.